my favorite database tool is finally fixed. The Prisma team has been working hard and a few days ago they hit me up to let me know they made cold starts three times faster with Prisma. But I have some good news. They were wrong. They're actually nine times faster. I filmed a whole video about the three times speed improvement just to learn that it was much better. So I'm re-recording it now because I think it's important to know how big of a win this is. Huge shout out to the Prisma team for the work they've done on everything we're about to go over because man, this is a lot better. Make sure you watch to the end so you can see the impact these changes had on real code bases that I'm shipping. This article was primarily written by Sabin, but he got a lot of help both from Vercel and other people at Prisma and the results really interesting read, not just about Prisma's cold start problems, but about cold starts as a whole and how we should think about them. This is the before and the after. As you can see here, there's both a lot more steps and those steps are a lot longer. The biggest offenders here are this giant DMFF chunk, which is some weird GraphQL things going on behind the scenes, as well as the amount of time spent actually starting the connection. It's rough. Thankfully, they fixed almost all of this. I'm incredibly thankful for how detailed these changes are. They even mention here that the single biggest impact they found for reducing cold starts was actually subscribing to my YouTube channel. Crazy, because less than half of the viewers of the channel are subscribed. Come on, guys, hit that button. Subscriptions are free, and they help the channel out a ton. A little brief history lesson on Prisma. It was originally a GraphQL layer for your database, so it would generate GraphQL for you. I think it was called GraphCool. They learned their lesson and moved off that, they never fully moved. The internals of Prisma have been plagued with GraphQL for a while now. I'm not saying this because GraphQL is bad. I'm saying this because GraphQL is bad at same machine intercommunication between two processes, which is what they were using it for. This was a terrible use case for GraphQL. Thankfully, they recognized that. They rewrote the protocol in JSON. It wasn't even too big a lift. Like obviously it was not easy, but they linked the PR somewhere in here where they made the change. And the resulting performance hit or difference is hilarious. Just from that change, we saw a gigantic reduction, like absurd. And obviously they made lots more small changes throughout and you can scroll through the article to hear all about them. In particular, their schema building, making sure you place your functions close enough to your database, a bunch of other random stuff. They even touch on TLS here, which is interesting because TLS handshakes are necessary when you connect to something over HTTPS. So if you opt to use HTTP instead, you can save some time not having to request the server, confirm the handshake is actually them, and then fulfill the request. So as weird as it might seem, disabling SSL can actually speed things up a little bit further. It's not massive, but it is worth considering for many projects. The one thing that they don't do in here is make stuff edge ready. Accelerate will allow you to connect to a Prisma instance that you're not actually running, which should theoretically make Prisma way, way faster to spin up and also edge ready because you don't need that native database layer anymore. But what does this actually look like? What are the numbers that I'm seeing? I have a video a while back, my database performance video. If you want to see how bad things were, check that video out. If you want to see how much better they are now, I can show you real quick. Last night, I moved Chirp over to the new patterns and the JSON protocol. I don't know for a fact it's going to be a cold start, but I'm pretty sure it will be because I don't think anyone's checking out the site right now. Let's see what the performance looks like. That is so much better. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend this is perfect. This request still took 633 milliseconds, but God, this is so much better. The whole page loaded in under 2.7 seconds now. It was getting over eight seconds at times. That is massive exponential win. And I am so pumped to see the difference in performance. Obviously, when it's warmed up already, it's gonna be super fast and we're gonna get the whole page loaded in under 700 milliseconds. But to see the worst case be three seconds instead of 12, that's insane. It is such a huge win and I don't wanna understate it. Huge shout out to the Prisma team for taking this problem seriously and really diving in to address it. If you wanna hear more about the database problems that I've been venting about that led to these changes, I'll pen a video here all about them so you can check that out. Really appreciate y'all. Thank you guys as always. Peace nerds.